me, Snigglers, back for another video for you. Today we have. I know I said I wasn't going to do uh, another one of the bunches, right? But I lied, okay? Because I see this just popped up. It's the Budgie Remix of the Buntu, okay? So you've got Budgie as your desktop. Now remember, Budgie comes as standard with Solus OS from old Icon Co. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I haven't still got around to doing that yet. I must do that. But hey, I thought we'd give this one a show and show you what like, a Budgie desktop looks like in reality. Now, I'll be honest with you, it doesn't really play very well in the virtual machine. But hey, that doesn't really mean anything to me, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, this is your basic desktop, okay? It's quite... Pleasing, should we say? Should we say pleasing? Yeah, pleasing is a good, a good word. I like pleasing. You would time up here, you know. You can click on there. Time and date. Settings and your calendar. So you can click on calendar. And your calendar will come up nice and big. Canoony style. I don't know. Over here, we've got shutdown. There's your sound. Notifications. It's my internet, because I've got a wired connection here. Over on the left-hand side here, we have plank. Okay, plank. It's just like a little shortcut thing, really. Bit of a dog on bar. This is nice. Let me go to the main menu, okay? We'll, we'll go down for accessories. I'll just show you quickly. I'm not going to make this a long video again because you don't need to. You can go and have a look yourself, can't you, really? Or just get solus. One or the other. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Accessories, all the usual. We do get maps. You know I like a bit of maps. Shall I have a look? Yeah. Let's see what the maps is. See if it's the same maps as I think it is. And yes, it is. Look, here we are in maps. So if we go down to America, yeah. We go down, where should we go? We'll go down to here. Yeah, down there. Oh, look. It works very well. Not too bad, actually. I'm quite impressed. Yeah, it's alright. Okay. That can go now. Maps works really nice. I like it. Quit. Okay. Under games, we get a few games here. Mahjong and what have you. Basic ones, really, in the day. Nothing special. Remember, just add what you like. Okay. Remember, the download's quite a big one. Not enormous, but it's not small like Ubuntu. Okay. Graphics, you just get simple scan. That You do get the full Office suite, I'll show you, which is LibreOffice, as I explained before. All the big guys go for this, okay? You just go for the complete Office suite. I'll open it up for you so you can see what it's like. Nice and zoomy. Look, does what it says. On your tin. Nicey, nicey. What more can I say? It does what it says. It's an Office suite, you know what I mean? Not much I can say about it, really. I do like this desktop background, though. It's quite nice. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yes. And the internet. Firefox is your web browser of choice. I'll open that for you just so you have a quick look. I might. Oh, I'm just going to drink water in a minute. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Basic Firefox, it works quite sprightly. I'm quite impressed. Yeah, I, I really am. Should we go to Bebeka? Yeah. Just a quick look, see what it's like. It should render nice and nice. Actually, I quite like it in this. But it actually looks quite nice. Yeah, fair enough. That's what it says. See you later. Okay. There we go again, under science, what have we got? Part of LibreOffice Suite again, okay? So, as you can see, there's not much pre-installed software to start with, in reality, okay? Sound and video, you get cheese, that's all right, it's a bit different than the other. Rhythm Box is your default music player, remember it is based on Ubuntu, so you will get most of their software, okay? What was it, no, whatever. And for videos, you play movies. Well, I will open it up and we'll see what it is. Let's say we're going to help. Contents, let's have a look. It's Totem. As you, you know what? I haven't used Totem for donkeys. Oh my god. Okay, nice to see it back then. Okay. And we go down a bit more. And the system tools. What have we got? We've got your software centre. So we'll open that up. Is it going to be the name software centre? Yes, and see how nice and fast it is on this machine. I know. I, know, I couldn't believe it, right? I'm flabbergasted. Nice and quick. Okay. Unlike some of the others we've used it on, and it hasn't been so quick. Okay. Okay. There we go. Nearly finished now. As I said, it's going to be a real big one. Oh, Plank Preferences. Okay, this is a nice different one. There's your dock, and that's Plank, okay? And that's your themes you can have. So it's on GTK at the moment. You can have matte, transparent, or default. But say you don't like it on the left-hand side, and it's a pain up your posterior, okay? We can move it to mm, the bottom. That looks good. Yeah, I'd rather like it down there. That's all right. You can change the center alignment and the icon size. So if we move this up... Move along and along and along and along, make it nice and big or smally, 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 smally. Yeah, I like. Okay, that's about right for me. Or you can line from the centre if you wanted to or not. You know, entirely up to you. Your behaviour: hide dock from maximise windows, show and pin to restrict to workspace, etc., and some docklets to put in your docky lit thing. Okay, which is rather okay. 
when you right click, you can create a new folder, open a terminal like so. Hello terminal, there you are. I was expecting black then though. I don't like white terminal. No, they're not good at all. Uh, okay, well you have a little plank. It's just your basics in there. You get your ribbon box in here, your image viewer, Geary for your mail, a calendar, videos, and Firefox web browser. Yeah, see? Not too much really. We'll go down to utilities. <clears throat> Your system viewer, your system monitor, blah, 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 blah. I'll open that for you so you can see. And as you can see, when you open a system monitor up, all the CPUs go, whoa, what are we doing, baby? And it's using nearly a gig of RAM, okay? But I'll give it four gig, gig anyway, so no big deal. But in use, on a real hardware, it's super fine. Yeah, it's no, no big deal at all. Okay, give it that. And uh, nearly finally, and the preferences. Your software updates, discs is here, so for writing discs or USBs or SD cards, so that's rather nice too. Some settings in the menu editor. Under administration is just your software updater, system tools as usual. Not much more to say really. If you want something different and want to try a different desktop but still want to stay with Ubuntu base, go with this and give it a go. Even if you only put it on a USB stick, okay? But if you want to give Budgie desktop a really good go, uh, go and get IKEA and the Co's stuff and go and get Solus, okay? I've got it ready to do, I just haven't got around to doing it because I'm getting really busy again. But hey, really nice. The budget remix! Super duper. See you later. Bye bye. I'm out.